Uh, so just finished. Um, yeah, it was hard to watch. Our first quarter was really strong and we kicked into it and the boys were really, really good. Um, team with, I think, a two-point break at that point in time. And then in the second quarter, we just lost our way a little bit. Peel improved. Uh, we kicked the ball really poorly inside 50 when we had some really good opportunities to get the ball into some one-on-ones, which put us under pressure. Um, and then halfway through the third quarter, the sort of elastic started to stretch really badly. Um, they got out to sort of three or four goals in front, uh, and the character of our boys to sort of work their way back into the contest and give themselves a chance was was outstanding. I've got a, <laughs> got an idiot behind you, so that'll be on face. Well, hello, Clint. Um, yeah, look, so the elastic was stretching really badly, but the boys' ability to dig in was fantastic. I thought um, at halftime our midfield was getting belted, and, and Faulkner. Crowley and especially Ricky I really dug in and, and gave us some great momentum and um, luckily we sort of were in touch at three quarter time and then that little breeze pushing the left of the screen gave us some momentum. We got three goals clear and then held on for a really good win. So given that uh, yeah, Peel's percentage is really good but we pull level on wins, they've got a we've got a game in hand. It gives us an opportunity to, to finish top three and potentially a double chance if we can make the most of the last month. So really happy with the win.